됐셋 자, 끝내 합기 합기 하나 준비 Okay, Paul and everyone else on YouTube Welcome to Hapkido lesson number three Hapkido is a Korean martial art known as the complete art of self-defense and the original mixed martial art it takes elements of everything to make it as good as possible to evade punches, kicks, to defend, the primarily defensive, always defensive, actually, people say that, oh, is that an offensive art or a defensive art? They're meant to be defensive, because when you talk about offensive, you mean in a ring, like in a tournament. So self-defense should never be offensive in the street. Does that make sense? So, <laughs> so when you talk about an art, you've got to separate sport to the art and then you've got the self, street self-defense. Hapkido combines all of that. So we're still traditional in that sense, but it's a very effective form of self-defense using pressure points, wrist locks, uh, the soft techniques. You've got the hard, more serious techniques. If somebody attacks you with a knife or a weapon. So we go through everything, evasion techniques, sweeping techniques, lower kicks, very, very effective. That's why it takes a longer time to get a black belt in Hapkido. Probably at least four to five years, unless you had previous experience. Basic martial art normally takes about three, from basic karate or taekwondo, about three years to get a black belt training, at least twice a week under a instructor, or you know, or Zoom in this case, train as much as you can. And those also interested in joining us, it'd be good if you get a partner, to get a partner home to, to, to work with as well. All right, so Paul's just done a warm up already, so that's fine. Those at home, you must warm up. All right, do all the stretching, basic stretches, things like that. We'll do a little bit now, just to, for those at home anyway. Twisting, you know, side stretching. Originally, you should just run on spot, get a sweat up. All right, swing your arms around. You can bend your wrists a little bit. All right, that's good. Should stretch it out a little bit. Knee ups is good. You know, and then stretching this way, stretching the other way. Because now we're going to revise lesson two. All right, and on to lesson three with the kicks today. Do some basic lower kicks. All right. So just to everyone at home as well, and then Paul. Uh, first of all, Chumbi, ready position. And parallel. Hands on the hips. Now I'm, I'm going to turn the camera down at my feet. So we're going to go through, the, going to revise the stances. This is called back stance, okay, everybody? So the foot, let's call right foot back stance or right back stance. This heel is in line here with the front foot in line. All right, so it's like, it's like sitting on a um, bar stool, you know, which you're not allowed to do anymore at pubs at the moment. <laughs> you're not allowed, to, not allowed to go out anymore. So COVID-19 days. So it's like a bar stool, kind of half sitting or a breakfast stool. You know those stools? Like that. All right, sitting, half sitting on that. So, and then we'll do, we'll do that by numbers, ready, Paul? Hands on the hips make it easier. One, step back. Now about everybody at home as well, about 70 to 80% of weight is on the back leg. Two, bend both knees. Three, four. That's good, Paul, yeah, good. The no, front foot's forward. Now we'll go to forward stance, one. Now straight up, not in and out, straight up. Two, it's like a stretching exercise, three. Stretch it out. All right? Okay, good. Now, from there, one, back, back again, back stance, two, three, four. Forward stance, okay, from here, one, two, three, and you do one more, Paul, four. All right, now, from there, we're gonna do a horse riding stance. Like riding a horse, everybody, okay? So I'll come back here further for you. That one, 50-50 weight this time, 50-50 weight. Feet, bend both knees. Two, as we do a pickleball, bend the knees to the neck. When you're close to the, the, the non body zone. Three, bend both knees. Bend both knees, four. Around, good, okay. There's also a cat stance. We don't use that a lot in Hap Kido, but that's called a cat stance, like, a, you know, you wonder why. Right? Horse riding isn't riding horse, cat stance says in a cat about to pounce. You put all the weight on just like you got the ball of the foot, that's called the cat stance. Probably more in Taekwondo, we use that for certain patterns of Pumse. 
All right, so. All right, so it's good. Now we'll come from there. Now we'll add on the basic movement, Paul, okay? In the first lesson, everyone saw that. I uh, don't know if this, we've had a bit of problems getting the second one on the YouTube, so I don't know if I'll still get the, try to get that on. Otherwise, I'll just revise what I put in the second lesson here today. The first lesson, I'll get Paul to do all the blocks. And it's a bit different from the traditional, but it's more practical to get the hands up around the face. So with Paul, I'm going to get to put right back stance and upper block. And we uh, come forward towards the camera and move back one. And that's in your back stance, okay? Two. And I'm watching Paul. If you see my eyes look over here, I'm watching Paul on the big screen on big TV so I can see his technique better. So if you join us, I'll be able to see everybody a lot clearer on big TV. So that's why I'm looking there sometimes when I'm uh, watching. Three. It's just, if you get caught with something behind you, just simply switch stance and do it again, okay? So try that four, just switch stance. That's right, that's right, yeah. And bring that hand back to here. Now moving forward, we'll do our basic palm push. We went on to some, we, I like to teach those who know what I do, I like to teach non-aggressive, non-violent techniques first. Very important, particularly for children who don't understand the concept of violence. So you must understand the concept of violence and how terrible violence really is. Obviously, I hate violence. I don't even like, sometimes I even like watching the boxing when they're beating each other up in the head, you know? Uh, at least with UFC or you now they call it mixed martial arts, but real often fighting championships, they, um, you know, have it wrestling and you know, the grappling and everything else. It's not just always to the head like boxing is, and some different kicks and things. At least that's a variation, not just pounding the head. So moving forward now, I call this a palm push. Just pushing something out of the way. One, that's your long stance. Long stance, don't forget. Long stance, forward stance. Pull, stretch it out a bit more in your stance. Pull, stretch that leg out. And bring the other leg across a bit more. So you've got a bit more gap. Now, if I had a punching bag here, I've just got the bits at the moment, I would put it through my legs to see if it fitted. So you need about a little bit wider, okay? Two. That's right, that's better. Back leg straight. Back leg is straight, like a stretching exercise. Yes. Three. And four. Again, if I call too many numbers, just simply switch stance. Same with the other people at home. You can follow on as home. It's better if you join the lesson when you can, because then I can correct your technique. All right, so it's a good you know, learning from YouTube, uh, learning from yeah, YouTube channel, this one, and as well as uh, online Zoom, but you need to have me see your technique. Okay, one, out of block, move back. You gotta do out of block? No, you gotta stay at the camera. Remember I said before, stay at the camera, and then when I call the numbers, don't keep moving back again, because we're doing blocks. One, two, three, four. See how I come across and go out? It's as similar as this one in traditional, but I'm, I'm really trying to bring the hand, see the traditional, like traditional's here. But I don't want to do that in self-defense because I don't want my hand here while this guy's going to hit me in the jaw here. I'd rather have it here and then stop him. You know what I mean? I want my hands up, like a boxer. But you want hands up. You're going to make it more practical. You can still get the action and reaction, that's fine. So now moving forward again, palm push one. So don't just stay where you are when you're finished. So I'm going to do movements forward and I'm going to move this back. Two. That's right. And the hand back to here. Back to here. Your palm is facing your jaw. Not too close they can use it against you. Keep it out of it. Three. A lower one. This is a lower one, okay? This is a palm push to the sternum. That's it. Four. Again, if you get too, too close, just simply switch stance. That's all you need to do. Now stay there, come on. Now stay there, come on, stay there. Moving back, let's do the block again. One. Two. See everybody at home watching the other, see my, I'm curling my fist, locking my thumb. So if you stand like that, it's like, like a high five, but then like that. And you gotta learn to lean too. I want to lean as well out of the way. Three. Four. You might have to change stance. Don't fall off your, your, your stairs there. <laughs> I'll see you go over the edge and know what's happened. <laughs> All right. That's the Korean flag. Paul's got in the back. This is Hapkido Muhaekwan. Uh, the, my grandmaster, senior grandmaster, Sun Su Lee, ninth dan, Hapkido and Taekwondo. I'm a seventh dan in Hapkido and Taekwondo. In America, they call it degree, but similar. Dan degree, right? And that's the World Taekwondo Federation, which I'm seventh dan as well in. All right. So, again, under... 
uh, Sung Soo Lee, Grandmaster Sung Soo Lee back in Sydney, Australia. I've been a great master, about 35 years now, being taught by him and teaching for him as well. It's been fantastic. Under Hapkid Mwai Kwan, under the Korea Hapkida Federation, and Taekwondo Jitta Kwan, under the World Taekwondo Federation. All right, and the Olympic Sports Taekwondo as well. Okay, moving forward, to say everyone understands a bit of history, I want, I want my students to understand a bit of history. I don't, I'm not going to stand here for 10 minutes and tell you, you can read about it, but I do like to put little bits and pieces in. Gives you a bit of a breather as well, so there you go. All right, moving forward, now we'll do a palm strike to the nose. Now I'm going to introduce, I'm going to introduce uh, key upping, okay, everybody? Now you might see martial art, and they go, hey, hey, hey. If, if you see my YouTube video and you haven't, go and have a look at me throwing... So I've got a video on there, one-on-one, -on -one, throwing a big guy around. Ironically, he's an American, one of my American students. Uh, it's 2000 something, two or three, or something, I can't remember exactly, for, I threw um, him around in Australia. But the next two, uh, two in 2007, the International Open Divisions, with the twin twins, the twins, okay? Josh and Jeremy Rory, the top, we're known as the Wonder Twins or the Tai Chi Twins, they're awesome. We, we worked together in 1998 winning the American Black Belt Championships, Korean Division, right through all these world champs, USA Nationals, right through the 2013. And now we're catching up again. Now I'm living here. We're catching up again soon for a tour, actually, when we're allowed to after COVID-19. It's kicked out or punched, kicked and punched out. <laughs> all right. Now, so key up in. Like that, okay? So right back stance, Paul. Right foot back. Moving forward by numbers. And I'm going to call the Korean numbers for traditional purposes. Ready? I'll do it with you to start with. Hana, ha, hey, no, ha, hey, set, ha, hey, no, ha, hey. Come on, command means finish the last no. Command finish means finish the last movement and stay there. That's parallel, and that is chumbi. So we must respect the tradition of the Korean martial arts of hapkido and taekwondo. Korean martial arts. So we're not going to make you speak all Korean, but just a little bit for traditional purposes. So stay exactly where you are. Moving back, Paul, I want you to do an outer block. Now this is, sorry, this is the only time we don't key up. In fact, to make it easier for you, I'll say one, two, three, four on the blocks. And that's just breathing, like breathing. You don't have to key up on a block. It's more the uh, strikes. Two. That's right. Three. Try and breathe and try and lean. Lean out of the way as well. Four. Lean out of the way of the punch. Makes sense. Someone's punching towards you or grabbing you. You've got to lean. And half the top, most of the time, if you're quick enough, you won't even need the block. I'm just putting it up there as a precautionary measure. You can actually avoid it and you're boom. You know, you can even put your hand here and it'll deflect. But that takes more practice. So I want you to put the block up there just in case. Hand back here and then strike back if it's a serious situation or just block and run. Everything's designed to block and run. Come on, moving forward. So come on, me stay exactly where you are. Don't move. Moving forward, we'll do double palm strike. One, two, I'll demonstrate first, then I'll call the numbers. I'll this is a demonstration first, just watch. Ha! And I key up on the second one. Make sure everyone at home, make sure your palm is like this. Heel of the palm. Okay, Paul, moving forward. Hana! So two palms now. Do. Hey. Just one step though. One step. Two palms. Set. Hey. Oosh. Sorry. But you're right. <laughs> Don't fall over. <laughs> he's got a smaller ridge there. It's a bit hard. He's a bit. He's getting a bit close to his ceiling. All right. So that's fine. So two palms. All right. So it's one step. Two palms. Everybody at home. This is called basic movement. Basic movement. So I've taught Paul, if you see lesson one, which is on YouTube, you see me just doing stationary blocks. You go, see if you're watching this for the first time, go back to lesson one and watch that first and, and practice from it first, then join in. And let us know if you want to join in on our live lesson, all right, as well. All right, so moving, because eventually this will be a group lesson of Hapkido, so you're quite welcome. To be exact, it'll be 3.30 p.m. in LA time. That's what you call Pacific time in America, which is 6.30 p.m. New York time. Right, Paul? Exactly. So if you're after work, come after work, have a workout, and then have the dinner, dinner afterwards. There you go, that'll work. Don't have dinner beforehand. because <laughs> As you get more experience, I'll pump it up. We'll put music on and get you moving. But I need the correct technique before I start 
going too fast with you. Techniques, very, very important. You've got to get your right techniques, like my tennis and now my pickleball. You've got to get the right technique and style first, fixed up, then you add speed and from there, okay? Very important. All right, now, Paul, moving back from there, we're going to do a down block. I'll demonstrate first, okay? At the moment, you're going to let this, yeah, that's it. I'll demonstrate. Now, again, those traditionalists watching this, that is that, yes. And I've still kept it in Taekwondo for the children in their pumse. But in reality, you should not have the hand back here. It should be back to the face to protect the jawline. All right, so that's why you can still do the same action. And protect the jawline. Okay, Paul, moving back. Down block. One. Two, three, four. I need you to lean a little bit more. And the, the, no, down block, you're doing a palm. You're going to do a down block. Down oh, block. You see me okay? Down yep. block, down block. Okay, to practice again, this is called tiro tra. Tiro tra, face the other way. Okay, let's go back again, go back again. Now, tiro tra is why I turn the other way. Now try that for practice as well. Tear or try. Okay, now facing the camera. But face, sorry, face towards the flag. Your face towards the flag. Turn around. Face towards the flag. Now moving back, practice your down block again. One. Two. At the foot, three. That's right. Now tear or try, face me. Face the other, turn around. That's it. Right back stance, pull. Right foot back. Right foot back, hands up. Now, do we need to do this down block again? One. That's better. Uh, should be that foot back, mate. Uh, left leg back, looking at that. So now, yeah, that's it. Two. So whatever leg's in front, that arm's in front. Three. That's right. Okay, he's bumped the flag, so that we're not pushing too far. All right, come on. Stay there, don't move. Command doesn't, no, command means stop. Now, moving forward, I'm going to teach a knife hand strike, okay? We did do this lesson too. Knife hand strike, coming down, chopping. Again, just to let everyone know, if you don't know about my history about being in peace and harmony, yes, I'm very peaceful. I don't like violence. And we teach kids respect, discipline, everybody for that matter. Respect, you're a fellow human being, being a disciplined person, talking away out of a situation, not getting engaged in someone's violent behaviour and getting away. However, if someone tries to rape you, women, or attack you seriously, or try to kill you, men, women, or whatever, yes, I'm going to hit them really hard in the nose. I'm going to hit them really hard in the throat. I'm going to pop eardrums. I'm going to gouge eyes. I'm going to kick groins. I'm going to kick knees. Because I did not start it. You have no right to try and take my life away. You pull a knife on me, you'll, know, you'll get it shelved somewhere. You won't, you won't like it. So that's the attitude you've got to have, unfortunately. I'm sorry, but you have to have that attitude. Someone just bumps me in a pub, no problem. No problem. Sorry, I didn't need to bump you. I'll buy you another beer or drink. No problem. I'm really sorry about that. But you're looking at my girlfriend. No, I'm sorry. I thought it was somebody I knew. I'm really sorry. Very, very nice girlfriend. She's a very lucky girl to have a nice guy like you. And you walk away. Okay? That's it. You do not say, oh, I'm a black girl. I'll beat you up, mate. <laughs> no, 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 no. Do not fight. In fact, I teach people how not to fight. Defend, 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 defend. Only, only, only. There's a lot of stuff you'll learn from this course. And if it comes to me as a student, you can use your brains, your mouth before you can come in and watch some of my TV shows. I talk about that. Smile on your face, which is on your YouTube channel you're watching now. All right, moving forward. So I like to put little tips in into my into my structure as well. Okay, I won't stand here 10 minutes and tell this stuff, but I will put little tips as I think about them, okay, which is very important. A lot of people said to me, hey, I didn't have to punch anybody. I've used some of your verbal strategies and it works really well. And the kids talk your way out about bullying and things like that. Okay, moving forward. Paul, this is called a knife hand strike. So the point I'm trying to make is this is a very serious strike. This is when your life's in danger. He's pulled a knife. They've grabbed you. They're trying to abduct you. I'm going to smash him really hard on the carotid artery. As they pull me, it's going to go, bam, straight on the carotid artery here. Bam. And that's a twisting action from the ear. In fact, well, when we learn a new technique, Paul, We'll stand in semi-horse riding stance. 
For everybody to know, I'll, I'll explain again. This is Chumbi ready position stance. This is horse riding really wide out, bends knee. This is semi, semi horse riding stance, okay? It's a nice comfortable stance, which we probably stand in most of our life when we're waiting in a bus or whatever we're doing, all right? And there's also a walking stance as well. Again, we mainly use that in Taekwondo, but that's okay for the pump sake. So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna practice this together. Everybody can do it slowly. When I teach a new technique, I like to get the techniques correct. So one, we're gonna do it slowly. Two, now we're just saying stationary, Paul. Just put, just put the feet apart, that's it. One, two, three. Just keep going, practice from the ear. The best way to describe this is you're, you're uh, trying to, like, you know when you're trying to hear something? You know, like, what'd you call me, mate? <laughs> Whack, no, I'm just kidding. All right, so over here, one, just like that. And then just ex ex expand faster. That's when you get the technique right first. Chop it, yeah. Okay, now moving forward. We'll do that moving forward. Hands up. This is a non-aggressive guard stance. Hands up. Non-aggressive guard. Hada! Key up for go. Hey. Set. Hey. Moving back in a palm block. One. This is the defense against the middle. Two. Cross this way. Three. This stage I'll go up to the screen and have a close look. I'll go down the screen because it's bigger. Four. Good. Cross your body. Cross your body. Right. Good, come on. Next strike is called a side knife hand strike. So my man grabbed you, they've spun me around a little bit, maybe that way I come in and bam, straight in the throat. Again, <laughs> not recommended for kids to do at home. <laughs> All right, again, my life's in danger. I, I make the kids say this when I'm teaching, only when your life's in danger. I say, yes, sir. Only when, when they actually say it. That's the most powerful way of affirmation, is say it out loud. Prayer is good, that's fine internally and spiritually, no problem. And I'm not gonna get in religion with any of this, by the way. Martial arts is spirituality, not religion. Just make that clear. Oh, we believe in ourselves. That's the most important thing to believe in first before anything else. Turn and strike. Believe in God, you do what you want, that's fine. I'm not gonna get involved in politics or religion anymore. <laughs> not anyone ever did really anyway, so <laughs> it's all right. So knife hand strike. So Paul, we've got right foot back stance. Well, this time we get you to move back, that's fine. Side knife hand strike, one, we'll do it slowly. Now normally it's back to here, but again, I'm gonna bring it to here. Two. Three. Good, now from here, we can go the other way, okay? Just simply turn and go the other way. Face strike the other way. Now again, one. When I call by numbers like that, he doesn't have to key up. It's when I do the Korean numbers, traditionally we do the key up. Because when, when you're learning a new technique, you've got to, uh, you know, go slow. Two. So you're facing the other way now. Three. No, no. Sorry, step that the other way towards, start stepping towards the flag. Step towards your flag. So start to do the movement towards your flag. Ready, ready, one, that's right, that's right. Side knife hand, side knife hand, side knife hand. Two. Okay, so, okay, so to, to correct Paul there, what he's doing, he's got his hand back here for a start, so he's scratching his head. Put the hand here. <laughs> Hand here, mate, and get the strike out, okay? Yeah. Let's go back and do this slowly again. We better do this slowly, because this is unfamiliar with you. He has done some ninjutsu and martial arts before, but he's unfamiliar with this strike. So I'll do it very slowly with him. We'll do it slowly. One. Chop, fingers tight. Two. Three. That's better. And four. Again, switch stance if you're getting, don't smash the camera. Right. Come on. Moving back, downward palm block. We did that last week, so that's okay. Last lesson. One, two, three, four. 
Come on, we're going to do this. Now we'll do reverse knife hand strike, everybody. In America, it's known as ridge hand strike. Uh, yeah, reverse, reverse, that's for the knife hand. Reverse is the other side, obviously. I'm sure reverse means the same in America that does in Australia. All right? Reverse. Or ridge hand, they call it. Boom. Very effective. Bam. 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 Straight in the throat. Or you may need a little, little pop to the throat and they'll stop. But these are vulnerable areas. We're talking about eyes, nose, throat, groin, and knee. Second area is temple, ear, back of the neck, kidney, rib, on the shin, on the foot. And there's a lot of pressure points. Pressure points, pressure points in your body as well. So there's plenty of ways of actually protecting and defending yourself. All right? So let's try that. And again, this is a serious situation. The middle of the time in my career, I've had to say all this. All right, from here, from here right foot foot back stance. Horse riding form one. We're going to slowly at the moment. It's this way. It's the other way. It's the ridge hand inside. Two. No, you're doing the other one. It's coming. This one's a different one. It's coming around. Oh, coming, okay. Around. Yeah, that's a rigid. Well, again, again, okay, it's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll just stand as we are and just practice this. Okay, nice, nice and simple. Practice that. Inside. It's inside this time. Not outside. Inside. Using this part. All right. Good. That's it. Now move back. Move back towards your flag. Okay, right foot back stance. I might face this way for something different as well. I might face this way. One. Horse riding stance. Two. Three. Four. Good. Now you can do it the other way. You can just do it like that to the other way. Tiro, try and just do it towards the flag. Hit towards the flag. Hit behind you. Behind you. Behind you, Paul. No, 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 no. So, okay. So you're facing that. It's a bit, bit harder on Zoom. But just face that way and face it. Now hit towards your flag. Look towards your flag. Yes, yes. Now strike out like that. Right. Now one again. One. Now step towards your flag. This is the back of the house, whatever. Two. That's it, now two, that's right, three. And come on, face the front, chumbi. Parallel. Okay, that's gonna conclude lesson three. So I need Paul to perfect this before I start teaching in lesson four. And you at home as well, because there's no point going on to too much more. Well, they're basically half hour lessons anyway, but too much more unless he perfects that. So what he'll do now, he'll go back on the YouTube channel and he'll practice from that. Then I'll correct him next time, I'll revise the lesson we've done, and then I'll teach him the lower kicks and some other kicks and moves from there. So it's a progression. So what Paul's doing now, everybody, you know, he, has had, he hasn't done martial arts for a while, but he did do it, done different styles before that. But this is a little bit different. He'll have changed a few things, those traditionalists out there. Don't worry, I'm still saying traditional, but I'm saying practical, I'm practical. It's practical to get your hand by your jaw. All right? Okay, so there's great martial arts and Jeff Speakman, you know, but it's had sessions with Jeff as well. It's fantastic martial arts. Those are in, in uh, Las Vegas, brilliant. Kenpo 5.0. Yeah, he's got everything in there as well. Very, very effective self-defense art like Hapkido is. A lot of my opponents in the old days are Kenpo guys as well, you know. It's a big, big martial art in America, you know. And uh, it's great, it's great. So it's uh, really nice, nice people there that do those well. Martial art people are great. Because what happens is in martial arts is bad people become good, good people become great, and great people become greater. It's extending your personality to make you a better person and teach you respect, discipline, self-control, doing the right things by people. And guess what? If you do the right things by people, no one will want to punch you in the head. <laughs> you may not stop the general attack, but if you're friendly and nice, you'll be fine. All right? We'll finish off today's lesson with some breathing, Paul. So horse riding, or just a semi-horse riding, horse riding stance is comfortable. Feet out, beat knees bent. And we're doing the deep breathing. Now, everybody should do this outside, morning and night. I do it when I'm even walking my dog. I breathe in for five seconds, hold for five seconds, breathe out. And those who have dogs, yes, you should walk your dog all the time. It's one thing about COVID-19. More people are walking dogs, at least. The dogs are loving it. They're having more people in their family at home as well. All right, so breathing in, five seconds. I won't say it because I'm trying to breathe, right? I'm breathing in for five. 
I'm holding for five, I'm breathing out for five. And what I'm doing is one and two and to get it exactly right, okay? Here we go. And parallel. Carefully don't overdo that. You've got to get your brain used to it and your lungs got to use to the full oxygen capacity. Now, COVID-19 running around being very, very uh, naughty, all right? <laughs> if that's, that's a nice way of saying it. <laughs> mm, hit COVID-19 now. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Lung capacity. Lung. Looking after your lungs. Those who smoke, kick it out. Get rid of it. I didn't add kicking out a cigarette out of the guy's mouth. <laughs> so you can find that and put that on you. It's pretty funny. And uh, quit smoking. So look after your lungs, guys. Do your deep breathing morning and night. Tai Chi. If those want to do Tai Chi, you've got the Tai Chi twins, as I mentioned earlier, Josh and Jeremy Rorty. They've got some fantastic DVDs. So contact me about that. I get some DVDs for you direct. And then they're doing an online one. We can drop download it directly as well. If you're interested in that, talk to me. I'll get and do Tai Chi. Do you want? And they have the martial aspects. He's still learning the still learning the technical self-defense aspect with the Tai Chi Chuan. It's got everything, and Qigong with the breathing. So it's brilliant. They're, they're so good, known as the Tai Chi twins. I've learned a lot from them. They've learned from me. They're my Hapkido students as well over the years, and they've taught me some Tai Chi. It's fantastic. Really great. They're really great. So if you're interested, let me know. So we'll finish off today, and we'll see everybody next listen. Right, if you're interested, just send this out to subscribe to your friends. If anyone's you're interested in coming in on some Zoom lessons and trying, I'll give you a free 15-minute lesson live with me so you can actually, you know, learn the techniques and see if you want to become a student online. All right? Tension. Kakune. Hapki. Hapki. Okay. Good stuff, Paul. I think I'll just make sure that's... Yeah. yeah.